All right, man. So these ones are the Nike Bucky Dunk Low. I don't know, man. They, I, don't, I know that each colorway has like a particular name, but these ones are, they're like the same colorway yeah. as the Pandas, but they're called like the Champion or something like that. Nice. Because if you look closely, you can see the different material on like this part of the shoe. And then it also has like some bling, you know, cause I am the two time champ. A champ's got to wear some shoes called champs. You know what I'm saying, bro? USC colorway. USC or USC? USC. Yeah, the red ones are nice, bro. So little, like this isn't to like, you know, show off or nothing. It's just, it's a very, like this is probably the easiest bag I've ever built in my life because I still, these memories of where I, where we came from when we started is very fresh. You know, like that's shit you don't forget. And it's definitely something that you never become unappreciative of. You always remember where you come from, your origins, what it took to get here. You know, and it's just to be in a position where I can buy my own damn shoes, you know, not be gifted. Like what not, Ross. not take no handouts. Not whoa, whoa, whoa. Ross will Ross. forever be a staple. It's good. But I'm just saying, like, we will go shop at Ross. Payless. I, didn't I know somebody I know of Payless. It's $20 shoes, bro. We would literally wear these shoes until the sole fell out. Like, even going into the end of the school year, like, you know, it's just these feelings of having every other little kid, bro. Their parents, you can choose whatever the hell you want. Like, they get several shoes throughout the year, and it's like, you know, how the tables have turned, man. Like, what are those guys doing? We know what we're doing. Mm. Dead lifting today. <laughs> that you have to have if you want to reach those you can't people like the technicians that are anal about their training look how far they go compared to people like Russ it's just a difference of, of a lifter when you come in with a certain mindset is it rolling it's rolling is it rolling that's pretty good uh, I did my back down but like I said, 
if you're not at that level where you can afford to just do a single and dip out for you know well i did do some heavy dumbbell rdls so it's not like i didn't do any either way but yeah when you reach a certain level you kind of have to know like when to when to get you know i'm sure plenty of you southerners have heard this you know you better get when the getting's good better go when the going's good something around those lines so, yeah, so 903 it's a pretty pretty crazy moment just because the last time that i attempted over 900 pounds i got stuck in my knees twice so i wouldn't necessarily say that would live uh, i mean what you say counting competition but shit i'm calling that shit as a gym pr man the gym pr the gym pr so take them while you have them because they'll never always be there yeah right now i'm feeling a little banged up this is my number three when check your notifications mm -hmm. <laughs> while i was working <laughs> this guy was the devil Instagram. works fast but his social media matters works hard jesus <laughs> christ <laughs> works hard yeah, yeah. But anyways, I just want to reiterate, guys, from what I said at the beginning, y'all showed so much love. Our late, like our latest video, like that means a lot to me, and my brother, and honestly, my family. Um, just the people all over the world, wherever you guys are, that y'all support us. You know, obviously, we're not more in the aesthetic side, but we're more in the strong side. And the fact that you know all of you guys that comment or like y'all subscribe, y'all like the video, we appreciate every single like all of that you know i think you guys as the audience needs need to ask this very difficult question how many people do you see in the world with the six pack and how many people do you see lift over 800 pounds there is no. it is way easier to get a six pack and look pretty than it is to lift that much weight you know honestly it's all it's good, it's good. but uh that's pretty much it. Well, I do want to add one more, one more part. You know, like warming up. I didn't really feel that good. You know, I was thinking about taking a lower number, but Pablo came and spoke to me right before I decided. You know, in my heart that I was going to leave everything I had on the bar. I mean, on the platform, on the just the effort. And it is very important for those of you individuals who look at examples like myself other lifters who have managed to enter like this level of financial stability through just lifting social media and you really have to be built for this not because like it's what everyone's doing you know like oh i'm gonna quit my job like don't quit your job you gotta keep working and there's, these are conversations i have with pablo like for the first two years that i was doing this i was working freaking manual labor I was, you know, we were loading concrete bags, loading lumber, a bunch of shit for eight hours, and then we go straight to the gym, pop a scoop of some pre, or eat a whole pizza, or a whole pizza two hours beforehand. <laughs> like we did what we had to do I to get here. I couldn't do that anymore. You know, and no. it's just you gotta, you gotta keep that beat, you gotta keep that tune, because if you try to change shit up too much, if you start to become content lackadaisical you start comparing yourself to other people you start feeling good about where you're at that's when everything gets taken away and what pablo his words and it just reminded me man like i didn't feel too good but that's the number that i've been chasing it's a number that i need and it was just i had to summon that dog in me you know i, I was just my fingers started getting tingly you know like i just i literally gave 110 percent effort on that deadlift you know and fortunately locked it out unfortunately i couldn't hold it as long as i wanted so it's like you know you take what you take your w's where you can and you learn from you turn your l's into lessons but i guess the whole point of this is if you want to do great things you have to be willing to put in a great amount of work behind the scenes because all you guys get to see is a nine second video on the gram with a badass song and a badass caption but you guys don't know what the hell we're doing in the gym you guys don't know the shit we go on in our personal lives the the miles that we are willing to swim through to get to where we are right now and that's that's just how it is that's why you see so many people trying to get to where we're at but they fall short they they drown they, they get lost in the saws they they hop on steroids they do other shit they don't have the fucking testicular fortitude to do what the hell they need to to get to where they are now 
But you know, you just gotta be willing to go, bro. You gotta be built different, bro. You have to transform yourself, even if you're not your final stage. That's the beauty of life. It's a continuous effort of transcending, of asking God, God, keep working on me, keep showing me, God, keep showing me your love. And it's just you keep growing, you keep pushing forward. That's the beauty in it. So if you want to get to where we are now, by the time you figure it out, we're gonna be 10 miles ahead of you. But I think that's a good a good tap out for the video. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Like it helps us with the algo algorithm. And again, thank you guys for everything. For even clicking on the video. I appreciate you guys. We're out of here.